this. This here. This here is a story all about how our lives got flipped, turned upside down. And like Fresh Prince, I'd like to take a minute, so just sit right there. And I'll tell you the story of how we came to be here. Vincent van Gogh faced adversity and is a genius. And although his mind often left him sleepless, he loved to paint. And the story of how he lost his ear is not for the faint of heart, but lose the tip of an ear Vince did, and it almost cost him his life. That little tip of an ear almost cost him his life. But good old Vincent survived the incident, and in his genius, we can remain confident. The suitability of his following words about adversity are self-evident. The fishermen know, said Vincent van Gogh, that the sea is dangerous and the storm terrible. But they never found these dangers sufficient reasons for remaining ashore, and neither did we. In Halifax, with the ocean's imagery, we are all fisher folk. We made it through the storm and dangerous sea of law school to be here today. <laughs> with both ears intact. <laughs> well, maybe a little scratch. And before we say farewell, farewell to Nova Scotia, the sea-bound coast, we must tell our story. And like the case law does, I break it down not in one, two, three, but in one A, one B, and one C, <laughs> with two little eyes. <laughs> and like all good stories, our story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. 1A, who were we before this story? 1B, this law school story. 1C, who will we be after this story, this law school story? 1A, who is a law student? Some kids are told early on that their dream of being a lawyer is wrong, that a career in law wasn't meant to be for them, that they should think about another career because law is for people who like logic and analysis. And they are told, don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. But they chase the waterfalls instead. And they are here today with both ears intact. Well, maybe a little scratch. And we are told that law school is for those people whose song is all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. <laughs> and that is true. <laughs> law school is for you, too. And law school is for those who didn't know what to do, who thought, I'll try this out for a year or two. And to all of us who ever dreamed of going to law school for age three, or fell into law school accidentally, or went to law school because it was in the family, or went to law school because they were the ones who made it, you were all meant to study law. Do you know how I know? Because here you are, with both ears intact. <laughs> well, maybe a little scratch. 1B, the law school story. And if our story were a cake, the section would be the batter that we would cook up and serve on a platter. And really, the truth of the matter is that it's, as John Burroughs says, about love, man. <laughs> because why did we make these laws in the first place? So that we could live in a world with a better human race. So that love becomes an action. And that action is justice and equality, but Sometimes the way people act is full of dishonesty. And also importantly, law school is the friendships because we all need somebody to lean on. And friendships are forged here that will last our whole lifetime, forged by hours of study groups and coffee shops and study rooms at kitchen tops and at the library. Shh, don't speak. Can't you see we're studying here? That happened to me a lot. <laughs> Friendships are forged by a sharing of a new legal language, forged by giving each other courage, forged by a shared sense of impending doom. 
reading, 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 tabbing, 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 writing, writing, ragging, fingers hurt from typing for three hours straight, no break, got to get as many words on this paper as I can to prove that I know this, that I could know this, that I should know this, that I want to make it look like I know this. <laughs> and forged by a sense of absolute elation when we are finally out of that examination. And Mandela said, it always seems impossible until it's done. And now it's done, and here we are with both ears intact. Well, maybe a little scratch. And law school was hashtags, memes, gifts, and BuzzFeed lists. And it was also Halifax, the harbor, pizza corner, wanting to dance just a little bit longer, parks, oceans, beauty, and you are all beauties. Did I forget to mention that? Yeah. You so fancy, but you already know. You're in the fast lane from Weldon to wherever you want to go. And we are baby lawyers, and we are still in diapers, but we are graduating today to become toddlers, and we have, still much, so, have so much to learn, but rest assured, we will have each other. And there are times when we will be on different sides of cases, but we will need to remember these bonds forged over these three years. And like Marquez says, I would not have traded the delights of my suffering for anything in the world, and neither would we, because here we are with both ears intact, and maybe just a little scratch. 1C, where do we go from here? Legal battles today are over democracy and sexual orientation and the law and immigration, incarceration, and these are not easy questions with easy answers. They are hard fought battles with blood drawn on both sides and it is into this we wade as new lawyers. We are the people now who know the rules. We are the people now who know the laws. We are the lawers, the doers of the law. People will come to us at their crucial moments, at their crisis moments, at their important and exciting moments, and we will be the ones to do the law for them, the lawers, the doers of the law. And so when people come to us and ask us to know the law for them, to do the law for them, to be the law for them, let's remember to listen with our hearts, despite the fact that we have both ears intact. And as I come to the conclusion of this narration, I want to express my exhilaration at seeing all of you sitting here because I have come to know you these last three years and I have no fear that you will be extraordinary in whatever you do. You will become people who are fighting to change the world, to save the animals, to protect our environment, for feminism, for artists, for the eradication of racial discrimination. You will become people who help people buy houses and marry or divorce spouses. <laughs> and you will write contracts and interpret facts. And if you are simply a lawyer, you can do some good things. But if you are a loving lawyer, you can do great things. And a great power is now yours. And with great power comes great responsibility. And you don't even have to have a spider's ability. So use it well and remember, it's all about the love, man. And finally, those two little eyes, I am here to advise that as this year's valedictorian, I would like to bid this law school story, our law school story, farewell, but not goodbye. And as my Irish ancestors say, as you go, may the road rise up to meet you and the wind be always at your back. And remember that here we are with both ears intact. Well, maybe just a scratch.